So um, we're going to do a test on my computer um, and we're going to take it completely to pieces, give it a good service. Uh, and for the first time ever on my computer, it's a 10 year old Mac. It's 2020 now, that's a 2010 model. Um, I don't think it's ever had new thermal paste and you have to, you're supposed to do that every few years apparently. Um, I'm probably going to guess that mine is crispy and hard now. I also want to show you some software um, for that I use on my computer. I've just started using this a while ago and it's brilliant. And basically your computer runs the same sort of fan speeds um, when you're using it normally, but when you're using video editing and exporting videos um, and you're really pushing your computer, um, it just kind of lowers um, how much you're permitting to let your computer get hot. So you can pick a sensor. I've picked my uh, CPU diode uh, and I just say that by the time it gets to 90 degrees at that sensor, I want my fans to be going full. So just stop it getting too hot. Before I get stuck in, please give the video a like if you find it helpful uh, and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next videos which are some brilliant experiments. So we're going to run the test. Uh, the computer is set at standard uh, with the fans operating normally. That's the current temperature, the CPU, and that's the current fans speed. Um, so that's set as standard. I'll show you that a bit more later on. Um, so we're going to time it and see how long it takes uh, to export this video. And also we will see how much, uh, how hot it gets on the CPU. And then we'll put the thermal paste on a bit later on uh, and then do it again, see if that's any different um, and by how much. And then we'll talk a bit about this app up here, which is really good. Um, so we can see here that the CPU is standard. Uh, it's a 2.5 gigahertz, gigahertz um, currently running at 95, 96% load, 97% load. Um, maybe that will get dropped down if it gets uh, down clocked. I don't have a program to see how many gigahertz or um, you know that it's operating at currently. So I'll imagine maybe that will go down. I don't know. Um, so Apple usually have been seen to down clock the speed when it gets to about 95 or 100 degrees Celsius. So that's about where it starts to make the computer a bit slower. Um, this is why I think it's important to use this software to turn the fans on a bit sooner when the computer gets hotter so that your computer can process videos quicker. And it also is better for the health of the CPU. If you're about to do video editing and you plug in your Mac to charge, that makes your computer quite a lot hotter, which is not a good thing to do at the same time as exporting a video or doing any sort of video editing or rendering. So this is what I do sometimes with my wire if I want to uh, leave my computer uh, not charging the battery past uh, 50, 60 percent, something like that. So the important thing is to just cover up the middle pin out of the five pins. The Two on the left, two on the right, a positive and negative, positive and negative. The middle one is a communication pin. Um, so I just use a bit of old food wrapper and just put it on there because it's very thin. Um, and that means that your computer uses the power from this to run the computer and what it's doing, but it doesn't charge the battery. And you can see on here, look, um, it just says power adapter. That's the power source. The battery's not charging. And that's what I want. And I'm happy to leave it at 34%. I don't want to charge it. Oh, share successful. There we go, exported. And that took 26 minutes, 50 seconds. Right, now let's disassemble it, change the thermal paste, and we'll do it again, see what happens. So I'm just doing what I normally do. Um, and then when we get right in, uh, I'm going to take out the motherboard, logic board, uh, and then take off the heat sink, give everything a good clean, put some new thermal paste on, and then we'll do the same test again, see what happens, just see if it's any quicker. Uh, the top temperature that we saw uh, doing that test just then was 100 degrees, that's the top I saw, it kind of floated between 93 and 98 a lot of the time, but sometimes just popped up to 100. I undid the screws, put all the screws in the same place as they would go on the Mac on this mat here. Um, on this Mac Pro, on the 17 inch, the top three screws there are longer. They're quite long. Um, the rest are the same, however, sometimes when you swap them around, they don't screw into the into different holes very well, so it's best to uh, just keep them all in the exact same screw and you'll not have a problem. Uh, so that's what I do. Inside is actually not that bad. 
it's not too bad but you know I clean it every few months because I'm a professional um, photoshopper so that's not so bad it's not going to be but um, I reckon I'll be using my fans more in the future just to keep them uh, my computer cleaner and my CPU a little bit cooler um, because I can always clean fans quite easily because I use just go to the shop and get kind of air duster you don't have to buy them all the time you can buy something at home to do that and just plug it in and it does it um, this was the bottom base you could do that and uh, you didn't see I've cleaned it and then the camera fell off the table and I oh and I didn't you can't see that bit of footage that I recorded uh, but that was a bit dusty not too bad you could kind of see a, a some sort of mark you know from the dust um, that was a bit bad so I cleaned that just with a wipe just that wipe here you can see that's not too bad um, and then here we are so the first thing to do always when you take a computer apart before is a rule of thumb unplug the battery always it's very easy to uh, short out a computer accidentally by just scraping the chipboard with um, a, the screwdriver and maybe just two things connect and there you go you cost yourself a few hundred quid uh, for a new logic board uh, so on this what we need to do is take off this big board here so to do that we're going to take the fans off both of them give them a good clean and then we're going to um, take off all the screws and all the connections for the logic board and then we're going to take that off give it a good clean take off the heat sink and replace the thermal paste and that's what I'm particularly interested in just seeing the condition of the thermal uh, paste because I don't think it's ever been changed in 10 years um, and it's meant to be quite runny all the time but every two or three years it might dry out let's get into it Okay, so the fans come out like that. You can see already, already you can see like little bits of dust building up in there. Not too much, just a bit. But still, you don't want that at all. You want as much airflow as possible. And there's just a bit of dust build up on the bottom there. But when it starts to get like that, it gets very easy for it to catch more dust. And therefore it will get a lot worse a lot quicker. So if you're a photoshopper like me or you do edit video editing, every, every few minutes you really need to clean your fans and clean this. But today, go one step further. So how I am done everything I've done, I believe so. No, one more there. Um, so cleaning the fans, really easy. What I do is just uh, give them a good old blow from top and then get them spinning a lot like that. And can you see all the dust on the camera? Because I can see a lot of dust. Oh, my stick flew off. Ugh. Anyway, that was good, that was enough. So, here we go. You want to unplug that? Um, the next thing to do is to unplug this here. That is the, can you see that? That's the MagSafe connector switch. So pop that off there. Try and do this with one hand. Very, all very professional here. There we go. And that's the heatsink. Ready to dis disassemble and clean. And uh, we'll put some new thermal paste on it. So let's have a look. Uh, first of all, just give it a quick blow. That's important really. Get all the dust off of it. Okay. 
That. That's quite dry, clearly. Oh, oh, yeah, that's like plastic. That's got nothing. Yeah, why? That's shocking. <laughs> Look how hard that is. That's always meant to be runny. Look at that. It's just dry and ugh. So, no wonder. That's not good at all. So, we get all that cleaned up and put some fresh stuff on. I'm just using uh, a piece of kitchen paper. Um, I think on the internet some people use alcohol, uh, alcohol to clean it, but I think this is perfectly fine. This is working really well. It just pulls it straight off, so not a problem for me. There we go, started. So I've done the new export, that's that started now. Uh, the last time was 26.50, I think. Um, and I've also given the computer 10 minutes to get to its normal operating temperature. Uh, now's a good time to just talk about batteries. Um, I uh, Lithium ion batteries, when they charge from empty to full, um, like to live their entire life in between 20 and 80% of the charge uh, voltage uh, Mac batteries, when they on your computer, when you charge it to a hundred or empty it and deplete it to zero, um, they don't like being used in the top twenty or bottom twenty, and that's why I sometimes use the little uh, trick where I put something on the end of the MagSafe wire and just try and stop it um, charging past eighty sometimes or below twenty. Um, I do that sometimes if I know I'm going to just leave my computer on its stand here for a couple of days or a couple of weeks. So on the last export, the highest temperature that we saw was 100. So I'm curious to see uh, the computer set at the exact same, and it has the exact same com uh, software open, like it has Google Chrome, and it has uh, Mac, this uh, Clean My Mac, that's open, um, and obviously, um, uh, what's it called? QuickTime Player is also open, just recording the screen for you. Um, so the temperature has gone to 86. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I reply to every comment. Um, and any suggestions for videos in the future, just put them in there too. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you think it's helped you in any way, just uh, please give it a like. That would be much appreciated. Uh, and until next time, see you. Uh, please don't forget to check out the other videos on the channel. Uh, so there's one here about an electric Land Rover, and there's one just to this side of the screen about an electric Beetle. They're converted cars, uh, they've been converted to electric. Um, and just have a little browse through and see which uh, other ones you fancy watching.